Hey guys, I'm Ashley and today we're going to see if we could fix my 3D printer. It got this crazy clog in it. What happened was it was printing and it was going well and then the part lifted off the build plate. The nozzle grabbed onto it and dragged it around for about five hours. And since the filament had nowhere to go, it decided it was just going to turn into this glob, kind of like that one mess eating monster from Ghostbusters. <laughs> So I think it's salvageable. It didn't go quite as far into the extruder, I mean into the hot end as I thought it did. So I'm feeling pretty good that we'll be able to save the hot end and that I'll be able to print with this machine still. So let's fix this on chip builds. The first thing you need to do is make sure you don't panic when you see this because this is definitely fixable. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is find out how hot you can set your 3D printer to. For my 3D printer, I can set it all the way up to 240 degrees. So I went to the control menu and just set the temperature to 240 and let the machine heat up for about 8 to 10 minutes. And once it was nice and hot, then I was able to take the pliers and slowly start to pull away the filament as it melted. This process is going to take some time, so just try to be as patient as you can and as careful as you can because if you aren't, you can end up doing what I did, which is accidentally pull out the wires connected to the heater cartridge. And once that happens, your printer isn't going to be able to heat up anymore and then basically you're kind of screwed with taking out the rest of the filament if you already haven't gotten the blobs out. So just be gentle with it, just use your pliers to kind of wiggle it. Uh, my blob was so big that I ended up having to take a little torch and getting the front of the blob to kind of just help release the whole thing. And once I hit it with the heat, it came off really easily. If you do use heat, just be really careful that you're not hitting other parts of the machine because it can easily warp. And especially for me, I had a 3D printed carriage, so I had to be extra careful. I was really lucky that none of the filament got into the fan blades or anything, so it was really easy to clean off the hot end, and it was salvageable. I'll have a link in the description below to the different tools I'm using to help speed this process up. Since I did pull out the wires by accident, all I have to do is buy a replacement, which is pretty cheap, and then I'll have this printer going in no time. And I'll always have this little blob to remind me of the mess eating ghost in Ghostbusters.
Well guys, thanks for watching this video. As you can tell, it didn't quite work out the way I wanted to. The glob did take out the thermistor wire. Um, I can just buy a new one and then that should be fine. Uh, but either way, even though it wasn't super successful for me, that's still the way that you would get rid of that, is you just heat the nozzle up all the way that it can and just let it sit for a while and you pull off that melted plastic really slowly. Hopefully this helps you. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And if this helped you, please consider subscribing to my channel. See ya!